Thanks for sticking around for sports, and we're continuing our coverage of the 2023 high school softball playoffs. And Jesse, I have to say, the ladies are chasing that title to bring back here to Northeast Louisiana, and they came to bat tonight. Yes, that's right, Dominique. Let's just say the Lady Panthers rolled themselves on to the third round of the playoffs tonight, winning 10 to 1. Now we're actually here live with Maddie Taylor. She's actually the star of this evening's game. She had hit a home run. She's pitching, averaging 62 to 63 miles per hour. Maddie, just kind of talk about your performance uh, this evening. I mean, I had adrenaline rushing through me, so that really, I wasn't really thinking more about the game. Uh, I was just playing the way I know how to play. Uh, I also knew that I had my team behind me, which took off a lot of pressure. And, you know, whatever happens, happens. So I was just doing what I could do my best. So... Okay. All right, Maddie, and I also have a question for you. You guys are number one in y'all division. Tell me, how does it feel good to represent for women in sports and just all of Louisiana softball? Oh, it's 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 fun. I mean, I have a lot. There's a lot of women athletes in around this area that are overlooked sometimes, and I feel like just going out there and doing my best brings light to a lot of other people who don't get opportunities to be seen. So I think I'm just doing it for my community and my teammates behind me. I mean, I just want them to have um, as much time and as much appreciation given to them as as a lot of people do. A lot of other okay, people. Okay. Yeah, Talk, okay, talking about doing it for the community, the last time the Lady Panthers won a state championship was in 2003. They were state runner-ups in 2017, like I said, doing it for the community. They're trying to bring that state title back here to the Sterling community. Yeah, and that's right. So we'll have more coverage, you know, continuing the playoffs throughout the rest of the season, and we'll get right back to you with more news and weather after the break.